Gideon, we've done several things with dry ice this year, but here's one you haven't seen before. And this involves dry ice. I've got some big blocks of it here, right? But I've also got a metal. And this metal is magnesium. And it comes, you know, in this little ribbon like this, but it's actually a little ribbon of metal. And you remember when we lit magnesium on fire, right? So we know magnesium is very flammable. And we're going to use that to actually burn it inside the dry ice. And it just makes a really neat reaction, and we'll talk a little bit about it as we do it. But if you can just kind of take this, you'll need to unroll it a little bit, kind of ball it up. What we're going to do, we're going to put some magnesium ribbon inside this hole that I've carved out in my dry ice. So just kind of ball that up, and I've got a piece here that I'm going to use. Don't pack it real tightly, but just get it where it'll kind of fit down in our hole that we've carved out. good. And we'll just pack it down inside there. And I'm going to light this. Now when I light it, we know magnesium burns very brightly, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to light it. I don't want you to look directly at it. Now we know most fire will typically need a lot of oxygen to burn, right? Yeah. But magnesium is interesting. It burns very hot. It burns at about 3,000 degrees as opposed to a normal fire that would be probably, you know, a third of that. So we're able to burn it very hot and it's actually able to burn even underwater and things where normal fires could not exist. Yeah, because there's not so little oxygen. Exactly. So we're going to light this, we're going to set it on fire, and I'm going to cap it with another piece of dry ice. And we'll let it burn for just a minute before we... Yeah, that's really bright. Okay, now it's burning brightly. So now we can see it's burning in the dry ice. You see that white fire shooting out. You see lots of carbon dioxide gas. So pretty neat fire there, right? Now you see all this stuff. It looks like smoke's coming out, right? But we know that's not really smoke. What is that? It's carbon dioxide. Yeah, it's just carbon dioxide vapor from our dry ice. So that burned up pretty quickly, right? You want to do it again? Yeah, let's do it again. Okay, I'll tell you what. If you will just dump that in that beaker there. We'll get us some more magnesium and try it again. All right, you want to light this one? There you go. All right, just hold that down over it, and let's get it lit, back it up a little bit, get it kind of right in there. And once it starts burning, I'll let you know when to pull the torch away. Keep it there just a minute. Okay, let's get this over on that side. I'm gonna get it burning pretty well. All right, let's cap it. We got a torch off here. It's burning, but as it does. You hear that hissing sound, that's the gas escaping out from underneath the carbon dioxide as you can see it here. Um, you see the fire, some of it kind of even shooting out from underneath and you can still that see it still, yeah, even though this dry cold. ice is so cold, that what's left, and it's actually not magnesium anymore once it burns, it makes magnesium oxide because burning oxidizes the magnesium. But you can see it's glowing red hot yeah. in there even for several seconds, even though we have like, the dry ice yeah. around it's so much colder. And we've got a little bit of magnesium left. You want to do another one? Yeah. Let's do one more. Do this is a lot of fun. Okay. Here we go. One more time. Let's get the burning good. Here we go. Let's tap it. It's okay, it'll go out. Yeah, a little bit of it shot out of there, but that's okay. So again, we see lots of carbon dioxide gas, yeah, right? It looks like the room's full of smoke, but again, it's just carbon dioxide. Neat reaction there, just oxidation of magnesium through burning it and having it inside the dry ice makes a great, I guess we'd call it a great light show, right, with our yeah. burning magnesium. It's like a fireworks display. Fireworks display, exactly. Science. Science.